of uh, dealing with annoying people like Ari with uh, <laughs> flexible legs. Um, and now more, more um, dealing with a lot of people are, pa are playing a De La Hiva based game at the moment, um, where they're often looking to get this De La Hiva hook and, and get around the corner. So uh, working with how we're going to deal with this grip, and usually they'll, they'll usually use this because they like this open guard scenario. They will mix the Della Heba with the, the lasso. So when you start to try to pressure and pass this way, they'll often go lasso, recover, and then they go back attacking the, the Della Heba again. It can be a very, a very effective, that's why so many people are using that um, style. So just how we approach um, dealing with each of those particular groups. So we'll start with the Della Heba, like this. Ari's got the Della Heba hook. What I want to do, I want to grip the lapel so that it makes it hard. I, the first thing I don't want to do is, is disconnect my elbow from my knee because now the triangle and omoplata and all those attacks become available. So I have to keep my elbow connected to my knee at all times. I like to put my elbow to the outside of my knee. And I like to grip low enough down on the lapel that, that I can pull my elbow back and actually get it to connect with the shin here. Okay? Because if you look from side on, here like this. If my elbow can come all the way back to here, that can actually help clear the, the Della Hiva hook. If you grip too high, you'll keep your elbow connected to your knee, but you won't be able to clear the hook. Pushing on the thigh, this doesn't clear the Della Hiva. Pushing on the shin will. Okay, so I want gripping the lapel, pulling back enough that my elbow can push down and clear that hook. Okay. Now the other thing that can clear the Della Hiva hook is if I straighten my leg like this. Okay? So if I straighten my leg, I can break the grip and immediately once it's broken, I want to be turning my knee outwards. Preferably just attached to the calf here. So if, if Ari tries to hook now, that's difficult to do. If I'm right in front of the knee and more forward, you can get that hook back pretty easy. But when I break this grip, I usually want to turn my knee out and go a bit closer towards the calf first. And then when I've got control, I can come over the top here, pressure him down. When he tries to hook now, that should be difficult. Okay. So again, Della Hiva hook. We're going to grip the lapel, pull back so our elbow connects. If you need to, you can step laterally when you do this as well. Drop your weight, drop your elbow, straighten your leg, turn your knee out, and now I've got control over the top of the leg. So I push on the calf, and then I'll come back in on top of the thigh, Killing that hook like this. Okay? Use that hook, Ari. Ari's gonna do it once on me. Let's just do one minute of that each and then we'll uh, work some other grip breaks as we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so good question. So this is dealing with the, the inside leg. We'll clear that. This one, um, there's a few things. Well, there's, there's two main, actually three main things that I would want to do with this leg, okay? One, I could try to leg drag. So if I, if I see the chance and I can throw that across, I will. I'm gonna pass. Straight away. Okay, so that's going to be with the grip on the, the outside. So if Ari could still have, he could have a spider grip or he could have a lapel. It's actually harder to get the leg drag when he's got the lapel. Okay, because I can't posture and throw up past his arm. If you've got a spider hook, the leg drag will work quite well. Okay. Um, if usually he's got the lapel, like this, or the collar I should say, um, I either want to circle inside and keep the leg on the outside and start to pressure in. Okay. Start to pass from here. Or I want to circle in, grab, and step over the top into, into headquarters. Okay, that can become a, a smash pass. Okay, so we'll work that next. This is going to be the next piece of this puzzle. So Ari's got the outside hook. We're going to clear that. Now we need to deal with this. One. We circle inside, so circle underneath the leg, like this. Once you get a hold of that leg, 
The main thing I don't want, well, there's two things I don't want. I don't want his foot coming in front, but I also don't want his knee coming in front. Okay? So if I grip on the shin near the knee, that can often take care of both. Swing the foot over, I can block the foot coming over, but he also won't bring his knee in. If you grip too low, he's going to bring the knee in. If you push on the knee itself, he's going to swing the foot back in. Okay? So I want to grip on the shin near the knee. Okay? Push and get my chest low. Now, it's a bit, once my head's near that leg, it's very hard for Ari to get that leg back in front where he wants it. Okay? i come over the top. I'm going to grip onto the, the pants here. Okay? So that's option one. Here. Put your, we clear our grip. Circle. Push to the side, head down near the leg, and then lock onto the hips here. Nice and low, still keeping my knee on top of this knee. Okay. Option two, Ari does manage to get this knee in front. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the, for, the, for the same thing, and he forces that knee in. So I'm gonna step back over the top, and come in with my hips. I wanna turn his, his leg a bit like this. Okay. I don't want his hook. Straight front on, I want it like first. Okay. Nice and heavy with my hips. Okay. And then this leg comes in, so I'm going to step over the top. Hips come in nice and low, nice and heavy. Feet wide, knees pinched together. Okay. Good balance, but still keeping tight with my legs. Okay. And so I have to pass there. Is there less pressure on your right knee when you're in? Now I'm still. Even though I'm here, I've still got like a more of my weight through my right side than my, than my left side. It's not like on his hips here, it's pressuring down. I really don't want him to last here, which we're going to deal with next. Right. Number one, one more time, that's right. Yep. First option. And second option? And second option. Sometimes Ari will keep his foot like his knee high and make it hard to get yeah, up here but, but bend this okay and it's hard to step in and if I go to step over that's going to commit my weight too much as well okay so he pulls that leg back very difficult to step over to the headquarters and it can be hard to get through the gap into the um, that uh, sort of near side knee through position okay so when this is the case what I'm going to do Pop my hips back and pass the shin, the foot underneath my far armpit. Immediately I'm coming back in and trying to leg drag from here. So again, we go to, I realize he's got this leg back. I'm going to move my hips back, feed this foot underneath my far armpit. And then what's the most likely way Ari's going to recover here? Hips. His far leg's going to come over here. Yeah? This is the, easily the most common thing. Okay, so we go back one step, <coughs> immediately I try to put my head to block that, that lasso from being a thing. And I want to try and get Ari down on this side. Okay, if I get him on this side, this leg's not going to be a problem. Clear this to here, and they go to step over, and he pulls that leg back, we're going to come across, and we're going to start trying to crowd this side of the body. Try and get your knee on top of that leg really quick. Then, the mo next most likely thing is gonna try and get this leg in front. Okay, so now I can let go and start trying to push the knee in and crowd the hips full. Mm -hmm. Okay, we get to here, come out to the outside of the leg, and we're gonna pass it all the way through to our armpit. And then we get our tripod going. If you're late, 
and they do start to get that leg in. So if I get to here and that leg's coming over, that's when my head's got to come through. And I've got to try and pass around this way. More difficult now. But preferably, I'm driving into this side. Alright, four minutes each and we'll get into some training. Three, two, one.